I'm Kim Soyoung, the conference interpreter who will introduce Gwangju, the land of hope and land of possibility, and interpret the proceedings of the medical industry's investing promotion seminar. It is my great honor to share Gwangju's vision with all the participants in this seminar. Gwangju has always had long-lasting, friendly relations with key cities around the world. Besides, Gwangju continuously promotes exchanges in the medical industry. Thanks to these exchanges, we have Gwangju Investment Promotion Seminar of 2021, co-hosted by Gwangju Metropolitan City and the Gwangju Techno Park Medical Industry Support Center. Today's conference is being held mainly across the English-speaking countries. The pitches and Q&A session answers will be only in English. Before the official conference begins, let me introduce the order of events. First, we will have greetings from the mayor of Gwangju Metropolitan City. Next, we will present and explain the investment environment of Gwangju. Lastly, we will have the companies make their pitches. For today's seminar, let us first watch the video message of congratulations by Mayor Lee yong of Gwangju Metropolitan City. Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangyu-Hangy
Now, a global business success partner leading the future of Korea, centered on AI. Gwangju has a fast, convenient transportation infrastructure, connecting it quickly to, among others, Seoul, Muon International Airport, and Busan International Port. As an economic, educational, medical, high-tech industry, and cultural center in Korea's southwest, Gwangju is a city of high sustainability in a variety of fields. Gwangju has the right conditions to enhance corporate competitiveness, including trained manpower, support for a variety of R&D efforts through prolific research, and an abundance of educational institutions per industry. Gwangju Free Economic Zone, a new industrial base for AI convergence, has created the perfect environment for tenant companies by providing benefits and combining Gwangju's representative industries with AI. Gwangju is gaining urban competitiveness through the development of new industries that combine eco-friendly vehicle manufacturing, aviation, photonics convergence, smart energy, culture, and medical care with AI. Gwangju is a safe, pleasant city with a clean natural environment, represented by Mudongsun Mountain National Park in the city center, and is very much a cultural city, hosting a variety of international events. Investing in Gwangju brings a variety of advantages. Companies that meet the criteria for support receive incentives such as cash grants up to 5 billion won in subsidies and tax breaks amounting to a maximum 10% reduction. Investing confidently in Gwangju and innovation will give you a place in history. Gwangju Metropolitan City, your business success partner. Join the ranks of companies investing in Gwangju as it advances into a prosperous future. In Gwangju, several top-notch industries, including the medical industry, are developing in combination with AI. Gwangju is set to become a cutting-edge global city, leading the era of their first industrial revolution. Therefore, active exchanges and investments with multinational corporations are important. It is the right time for us to understand why people should invest in Korea and why people must prioritize Gwangju when investing in Korea. And now, it's time you have been waiting for, the time for the companies to make their pitches. Today, Five corporates will present their pitches. The five companies are CZ Bio, Anigen, HDT, Link Optics, and DXM. The presentation will be conducted only with English presentation. The presentation and Q&A answer session will be made only in English. First, there will be a presentation by CZ Bio. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sun Ki-jo from CZ Bio. I'm honored to be here presenting here. I would like to thank the officials of Gwangju Techno Park and attendees. CZ Bio is a medical device manufacturing company, and we are the pioneer of regenerative medicine technology. CG Bio's business areas are bone, wound, aesthetic, interventional medicine, and 3D printing. These are global products of CG Bio. Novosys, Novomax, Curavec, Curasys, Mediclo, Cell Unit, and Gigelinu. CG Bio's core values are justice, fairness, win-win, open mind, and ownership. These are core technology of CG Bio. Biomass ceramic raw material synthesis, poly ceramic and polymer scaffold fabrication, 
humanities engineering and design and implant design, finite element analysis, and bioceramic bio 3D printing. We are constantly studying and collaborating with the best experts in each field. And we have branches at China, USA, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Philippines. CG Bio was established in 2006 and has been growing up to become a global leading company. This is Hyunsung Yu, the CEO of CG Bio. CG Bio consists of an R&D center, product, production center, marketing team, and management team. Thank you. Thank you. We received some questions after looking at the IR data and the on-site presentation submitted beforehand. Researcher Seung Ki-jo from CG Bio will answer the question. So the first question is, how big is the company? CG Bio has 2,000 employees and series of 10, 70 billion won in 20, uh, 2020. The second question is, sales are increasing every year, mainly due to high sales of value-added products. Then, what is the revenue growth rate this year? Sales of 80 billion won this year are expected, especially overseas export sales. The third question is, what are the technical skills required to material engineering in the bone and skin regeneration field since the company has challenged material engineering technology in the regenerative medicine market. CGBio has complex, three complex technologies, cells, growth factors, and scaffolds, and has intervention of medical devices and 3D printing technologies as a new growth business. The first question is, as far as I know, the plan is to expand the beauty field Please talk about the filler products that have been certified in Europe. It is used to temporarily improve facial wrinkles in adults through physical restoration by injecting cross-linked hyaluronic acid containing lidocaine subcutaneously. And the other question is, CZ Bio has signed contracts with Japan's Nippon Vest, India's Iris Life Sciences, and Australia's Life Healthcare for Bone Replacement Products, Novosis. Are there any plans to sign contracts in the future? Yes, authorization is currently in progress and will be exported to the, pro exported to the product upon completion of authorization. The sixth question is, in February 2021, CG Bio obtained a certification for the quality management system of the American Association of Tissue Bank, a world-renowned organization for setting human tissue standards. Please explain this. It is called AATB. AATB certification is a quality system certification for human tissue pr processing. Although the cert certification standards are very strict, CG Bio is certified, certified for global business. And the other question comes out. CG Bio has merged with a 3D printer company to supply customized artificial bones. How is the company's 3D printing technology skill? CG Bio can manufacture all of the existing 3D printing equipment. And it is also producing 3D, printer, 3D printer with AI technology. Yeah, so since we are running out of the time, we should go to the next company. Next, there will be a presentation by Anigen. Very nice to meet you, attendees by online. Uh, I am Wong Park, technical manager of Anigen. Let me introduce Anigen. And Anigen is the 
only one peptide manufacturer in Korea. So our motto is synthesizing therapeutic future. We offer four services categories, the GMP and the non-GMP and the CDMO and the, for the new drugs. This is our uh, presentation contents. So we are established 2000. We have over 20 years history and we have 2010, we have first GMP plant in Korea and 2016, we have listed in Kostak. And 2020, we expand our business in Osong plant. So we have two GMP plant in Korea and such kind of activities, we are dominated uh, domestic production in peptide biomaterial in Korea. And we offer developing the most peptide material in Korea, uh, 5,000 per year. So we are, have been recognized by several government certification, kind of top 100 hidden champions, and innovators and the promising exporting team. And Energen is successfully ad, uh, advancing into key peptide market in worldwide, including Japan, US, and Indian market. Especially in Japan, we have three branches in, located in Tokyo and Osaka, such kind of things. And for US, we have consultation by Intercam for CGMP and the certification at FDA approval. And for India, we are exporting the Luprolite lin approved by Indian DCGI. We are located in, in certain places, of, the name is Gwangju, and our headquarters in Gwangju, and uh, we have two GMP plants, as, as, as I told you before. The uh, GMP first place is located in Jiangsu, and the second is the Osong. This is our organization structure. We have four divisions and five, nine teams for uh, full services for customers. With active participation and the establishment of an engine award, we contribute to the development of industry, especially the peptide industry. And our CEO name is Dr. Jay Kim. He educated in Japan in Tokyo University. He was a professor at Tokyo University and he's now the professor of the GIST. And next slide, I will introduce the peptide business. We are concerned by developing a, very, a variety of peptide material. So two, uh, two uh, slides, uh, two products is uh, commercially available and nine, we have nine APIs. And we are specialized in products and services that are fully compliant with ICH guideline. Such kind of uh, guideline, we differentiate in CDMO process and expertise, high quality service to our customers. Especially the, we ha have uh, a PM project. PMs are available to speak English and speak in Japanese and Chinese also. We operate in strict quality system uh, by ICH guideline and our GMP offer a fully stabilized and a fully validated services. Based on expertise from numerous trials in Japan, Korea, and the US, and EU also. And this is a reference of the CADMO. And this brings us successful story to our customers. So uh, most of our customers very satisfies our ser services. And we are also available 5,000 kinds of peptide per year. And you can also search the peptide you want on the website. And based on the experience of products and comp uh, competitive products, we are available to cosmetic peptide also. Anigen conti continues to cooperate with global pharmaceutical. Uh, the code name is AGM, blah, blah, blah. So the first one is that we have finished the clinical phase one. And we are providing comprehensive one-stop service from developing to commercialize. The next presentation is discrimination. We have global network and global partners from Japan, China, and Germany and the US. We operating four development system from research to QA and release. We are the only one peptide manufacturer in Korea, but we have two GMP plant. We optimize equipment 
and we have fully validated service to satisfy our customers. The next slide is our vision. We have, uh, with the unliable technology, with 2025, we will build three more APIs. We will get certification, three more uh, approval from PMDA and the EU GMP and the CGMP. We are promised to become a partner that goes with you by quality products with, re with reasonable price and growth in pharmaceutical business, helping everyone enjoy your healthy life. Thank you very much. Thank you. We received some questions after looking at the IR data and the on-site presentation submitted beforehand. General Manager Won Park from Anigen will answer the question. So the first question is, explain the peptide drug substance. Okay, so peptide is a kind of very short strings of amino acid and typically compromising two to 50 amino acid. Uh, amino acids are also building blocks of protein and but proteins are con and contains more. So peptides may be easier to the body absorb than protein because they are very smaller than protein. And also peptide has no side effect because it's very familiar to human body. So on this reason, peptides are very popular uh, new, new clinical entities, very popular in this season. The second question is, what is the scale of your development cooperation with the major domestic and foreign pharmaceutical companies? Uh, we are dominated the peptide market in Korea, so as well as the Asia. And for INDs, we are able to EU GMP and the PMDA and the US also available. The third question we got is, what is the size of the workforce? When it comes to R&D members, we are over 20 MSCs and the PhDs for R&D manpower. The first question is, how much of the project cost is invested in annual clinical cost? Well, the uh, expected sales revenue is 10 billion US dollar in this year, and uh, we have more 20% of CAGR continuously. The fifth question is, what is the sales volume this year? Yeah, the uh, expected sales revenue is 10 billion in US dollars per year. Yeah. The sixth question is, how many of the drug substances produced by Anigen have obtained export permission from the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety in Korea? Yeah, we have certification from KFTA uh, over six kinds of products from prostate cancer and to uh, painkiller. So we have six kinds of peptide APIs. The next question is, what is what are the characteristics of peptide drug substances whose U.S. patent registration have been confirmed? The uh, code name is AGM2212. It is developing for type 2 diabetes therapy. And this is very lower side effect and stable and high BA for blood sugar. Thank you very much. The eighth question is, I understand that Anigen is the only company to have peptide plant in Korea. What is the scale of production? Uh, so, as a global leader in peptide manufacturing system, we produce over eight uh, multi kilogram per batches. The ninth question is Anigen obtained accreditation of foreign manufacturers for peptide farms from the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare of Japan. How is the process going so far in Japan? Well, from uh, Japan PMDA, we got certification uh, a, couple of, a couple of months ago. And we have the services, the CDMO services, and we have three branches in Japan. Uh, later, two or three years later, we will uh, op operate our direct branches in Japan. And we have the last question. The question is, what is the progress of developing candidate materials for innovative new drugs? We have seven 
nominees for peptide new drugs. So one is the clinical phase one was finished last year, and we are preparing the uh, six kinds of APIs for next step. So this was the last question, and the following we have the another company's presentation. Next, there will be a presentation by HDT. Hi, this is Sun. Sung. Um, I'm a marketing manager from HDT. HDT is a team of innovative X-ray experts who are basically revolutionizing the concept of X-rays by breaking the limits for design, um, costs, and safety. So before I explain further, I'd like to emphasize on some of the difficulties that we face when we use X-rays. X-ray costs a lot, and maintenance costs a lot as well. Therefore, the opportunity of having an access to an X-ray machine is not the same across the world. For example, one hospital in Boston, they have 126 radiologists whereas in Liberia has only two. The heavy weight is another factor that limits usage. So x-ray is only available for those who can come to the clinics or hospitals. Due to all these limitations, doctors really don't have any other choices but to refer those patients to different hospitals, causing treatment delays. Although x-ray is an essential diagnostic tool that everyone should have an access to, these difficulties have remained the same for hundreds of years. So now it's a time for change. Our team has come up with an innovative, integrative, and awesome solution. So we developed a portable x-ray mine. Mine is safe, deployable, and cost-effective. Our team works for a modern, unprecedented, and advanced technologies. And fighting against prejudice is another specialty that HDT has. We have all entered into a new era where innovation and exploration is an acceleration. COVID-19 actually changed our perspectives in many different ways. So the market, the demand, for innovative devices such as portable x-ray will double in few years. To show how we are dealing with this game, I'd like to address some points. So this is Stop TV, our biggest client. They've been using mine for screening tuberculosis. So I'd like to share why Stop TV insists on using portable x-ray Mine is of a great portability and convenience. Stop TV travel every area, corner to corner, finding out as many cases as possible. Because if they miss one case, it can lead to tens, hundreds, or even thousands of cases. Who knows? So before mine, they had to advertise, gather people, bring them to their van, and screen them missing out on all those cases that were not there. But now, they pay a visit to everyone in the area, no matter where they live, what their condition is. So a lot of people might be thinking that the setup or the installation might be time consuming, but actually it only requires two people in three minutes. This quick setup allows Stop TV to be able to screen at least 100 people per day. And according to the last year's report, they screened 365 people per day, per office, and per set. So when it comes to developments, our team's first priority is safety. So when using mine, you don't really have to worry about the radiation exposure because the leakage dose is at a nano level. And some people asked, how can you prove it? Well, then I said, well, the Korean government did it. 
Mine is the only product out there that received an official permit from the government to operate outside in an open field. And it was not as easy as in saying it. It took us intensive demonstrations in 15 different sites over two years. And all those testing institutions, they literally turn apart mine for evaluation. So this permit is not just a permit. It means we changed the law. And it was only possible because the demand for portable x-ray is extremely high. Well, after all, when it doesn't come to quality, all these innovations might have been useless. So these are the actual images taken with mine. And despite the power, that's 100 times less than the conventional machines, the images are still excellent. And I am not saying it. Those images actually received the reading score of 76.4 from the Korean Association of Radiation Protection. Just to let you know, the standard point is 60. Also, with all these different safety features, radiologists or the doctors who are repeatedly exposed to radiation don't have to be aware of the radiation hazards anymore because the distance sensor that selectively activates the device based on the measured distance between the target and the source and also the real-time LCD monitor at the back helps to increase the accuracy, preventing any unnecessary repeats. So mine does not only increase the population size within the reach, at the same time, it also protects it. So overall, mine can save money, time, and most importantly, people. And this is the technology that we all deserve. The portable x-ray market is increasing every year. Our profit is almost doubled compared to the last year when we supply to government sectors against the COVID-19. But this year, we have expanded our market to private clinics, university hospitals, and not to mention military bases. And I'm planning to expand even further to ambulances, fire trucks, emergency tents, medical vans, and sports, and more. There's a lot of room for us to grow. So a lot of others actually tried inventing portable X-ray generators, and in Korea, no one else could do it better than us. The world's leading X-ray manufacturers are now trying to enter this market, but I can confidently say that we are the leading, leading company, because manufacturing portable X-ray generators requires a great deal of expertise and experiences. We know what we are doing and why we are doing it. We are basically reinventing the medical strategy to adapt to the changes that's happening right now. And it's not just about COVID-19 or this unknown viruses in the future. It's also about the increase in the awareness and movements to provide a fair, of valuable medical services all around the world. And the world has changed. Do you want to stay behind or come with us? Thank you. Thank you. We received some questions after looking at the IR data and the on-site presentation submitted beforehand. The marketing manager, Song Hee Jeon from HDT will answer the questions. The first question is, please explain about the portable Mine All New product. So Mine All New is our new generator, on our new product that's recently been released. Um, it's a portable x-ray that's designed for chest use, and it's really popular among the, I guess, global institutions. So we are having a partnership with WHO, um, and we are participating in their research. Um, honorably, and also we are talking with NIH as well. 
The second question is, what kind of market share do you expect for mine all new products in the field of dental treatment? As I told you earlier, mine all new is for chest use actually, but we also have dental products that's under going under development right now. So once it's launched, um, you're expecting about 20% um, of, the, of the domination. The third question we got is, X-ray exposure is the most important part. What is the limit of exposure and frequency of use of portable products? So if we are talking about the radiation exposure, um, it's about 20 times less than the conventional machines, but we are talking about the leakage dose, um, then it's at a nano level. It's almost pre it's at the same level as the natural radiation. Um, also, the lifetime for the product is about 6.6 .6 years. The first question we got is, HTD is the first to know that the Korea Institute of Nuclear Safety has approved small X-ray devices with reduced exposures. What are the standards set forth by the Korea Nuclear Safety Commission? Well, the standard, the main focus is on the safety, of course. Um, and uh, that's true. Um, mine is the first and the only um, X-ray generator that um, has granted a permission for handheld use for industrial um, field. So the fifth question we got is, emergency kits have been developed that can be used in ambulances in the event of an emergency and in health centers on islands with a full medical environment. Please explain the product. So the emergency kit does include the Mine All New, and it's not about the products, it's about the composition, I would say, it's like a set. So we have an emergency kit that includes a generator, detector, and a viewer and everything in one small aluminum case um, that can be carried away. So we call them an emergency kit. The another question we got is, as far as I know, the products are being exported to Middle Eastern countries such as Iran and Turkey. What is the export volume? So for the Middle East area, including Iran and Turkey, um, we really don't have a, any experience exporting medical devices because Minol New has just received the CE approval. Um, so we really, really didn't have any experience um, exporting um, medical devices before. Um, so in Middle East, we export mainly dental products and the volume is about $100,000 per year. Another question is, Please explain the product, My All New, which can identify suspected COVID-19 infections. So My All New is, as I repeatedly um, telling, it's an X-ray generator for chest use. Um, they can detect any abnormal lesions um, that's happening in the chest area. We have supplied um, to many different screening clinics um, that, within the government sectors for, for the COVID-19. Um, uh, with an X-ray, you cannot really diagnose COVID-19, but you can detect any abnormality of the chest, then you can isolate the person right away. So with an Im immediate results that you can receive, um, it can be actively used in a screening clinics. And the last question we got is, HTD is producing real-time medical CT equipment with reduced exposure to one seven thousand four hundredth of existing products using cone-shaped radiation. Please explain the product. So as I told you, we are experts in um, X-ray machines or X-ray products, and that includes the CT as well. Um, we are expecting this CT to be developed um, within next year. This CT is very special because you don't really have to go into any other structure. All you have to do is just lie, lie down or stand. Then the scan will scan um, your body 
and since it's a cone beam based, the radiation exposure is extremely low compared to the other cities. So that was the last question we got. And since time is running out, we are going to see the other company's presentation. Next, there will be a presentation by Link Optics. Hi, good to see you. My name is uh, Yongwon Choi. I'm the CEO of Link Optics. Uh, briefly, I explain about the company. Uh, Link Optics was is established 2004, almost eight years ago. And the main item is uh, we develop by ourselves, also we manufacturing beauty device or some several medical equipment based on the photonics. Uh, that is the, our current main item. Uh, from the left side, there is two product is a, a beauty device and another four kind of product we serve and we deliver this product to the dermatologist and the plastic surgery hospital. Uh, today, uh, I spend uh, my time to explain our current product or the future product. Uh, we, uh, we call it is a Luminar series. The first one is a Luminar B. Uh, in Korea, the brand name is uh, Kim Sung-kyung Patchy, but uh, for the overseas market, we call that uh, Luminar B. As you see, there is uh, some two products. The first one is uh, LED mask. Second is uh, another updated LED mask, but two products are produced by very famous company like L or A. But everybody knows that the LED mask is a good product, but the uh, problem is that uh, it's very heavy and it's very uncomfortable to use. And the second one is uh, another company, is there is a wire. So right side, that is our product. It's very wearable and flexible. It's very compact to use. As I believe, the LLT low-level light therapy must be very easy to use, so we can expect some effect from that product. Uh, we have uh, several medical tests. The, uh, the first one is uh, Jeonnam uh, Medical University and Gwangju University. Uh, from the, our formal official medical test, we use the two kind of special wavelengths. The first one is uh, amber, and the, uh, second one is the red color. So the result of the formal official medical test, the moisture and the, the derma elastics is very improved. Like the almost 20% of the, uh, the derma elasticity, almost 38.5%, you got the medical test report. Nowadays, we are promoting on the TV or CF, also the online neighbor. Uh, you are ready to export our product to overseas market because we already have the FDA, also C and C and like that. The second item is that uh, the brand name is Luminar Y. It looks like some sanitary pad. We use the three kind of special wavelengths: blue, amber, and NIR. So the main function is the the product is very helpful to decrease the unpleasant odor uh, around the Y zone. So we have the formal international medical test data. The test report said almost 70% is decreased the unpleasant odors. Or second one is the elastic or the whitening. You also have the formal medical test from this item, the 국제성모병원. Also, the Jeonnam University, uh, we got a two uh, formal medical tests. And about the competitors, the left side is the, uh, from this year, some uh, one Korean company produced is also helpful for the women's wives don't care. The middle of the uh, item is the, like uh, some stick, and the insert the stick to the Y zone is very helpful to uh, care of the Y zone, like uh, odors or electricity or like that. But right side, the like a luxury sanitary pad is very my item. It, we call that this a luminal B using the blue and also amber red item. It's very helpful, also very easy to use. 
It's the third item is a luminal V. V means it's a bit like uh, so many people uh, from the test report, like almost 30, 3% of the uh, popular uh, in the world, and they are suffered from the vitiligo. Suddenly, on the face or on the body, the melanin is disappeared, but nobody knows the reason, even though that there is no function or the recruitment. But currently, uh, in the hospital, like uh, dermatologists, they use the eczema laser. The, on the left side is very huge, and the customers, and no, his patient must be spend lots of money and lots of time, almost one year or two years, to get some response from the like a machine, or like uh, some sparse UV. But right side, very cute, small system. We call the luminal bit like a pad. The patient use uh, by them in the house to care of the bit like. Also, we have the formal medical test like the uh, Catholic uh, uh, University Hospital or the Jeonnam University. The test report said that by using our uh, pad, melanin is appeared easily within three months like that. The last item we call the luminal H. So, so many people suffered from the, like, the wrist or elbow pain because uh, nowadays most of people use, using the mobile phone at the house or like the daytime. So they, they are suffered from the pain because too much you use the mobile phone. So we are focusing on the how to decrease the pain on the elbow and the wrist. So you have the two kind of formal uh, medical tests. The first one is uh, uh, Catholic Church or the Jeonnam University rheumatist. The test report said that some special wavelengths of the LED or laser or some proper power. If they use that, we can make the, some collagen or also we can decrease the cytokine in order to decrease the pain on the list. That's the last phase. During the last 10 years, we changed our new business to the medical uh, field. So we spend lots of time to get uh, some official test from the hospital. So totally 16 kind of uh, medical tests we have. The half of that related with the beauty industry and the rest of that is related with the medical business field, like uh, acne or pain or bed so like that. So after uh, finishing that kind of uh, medical test, we will produce the proper product uh, to the world. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. We received some questions after looking at the IR data and the on-site presentation submitted beforehand. President Yongwon Che from Link Optics will answer the question. The first question is, it is said that the development of optical convergence medical devices started with artificial light source technology used in existing light industry. But what are the characteristics of link optics? Thank you. Uh, I can say for kind of answer, the first one, you work more than 18 years on the field of photonics. So we know that very well about the photonics, like a LED or laser. We got a patent more than 1908. Also, the product of our pro ours is uh, wearable and flexible with wireless. That means it's very easy to use. And the last one, we already got uh, more than 16 formal official medical test report by ourselves. The second question we got is, what is the clinical period and investment scale required for medical device licensing? Normally, I can say the, it takes three hours to get the formal medical test, preclinical or clinical. We spend more than 10 years, so we already finished almost then. We need almost uh, 2 million United States dollars to get a uh, our fund. We will spend uh, that fund in order to produce new our product. The third question is, what has the response been from the plastic surgery, skin beauty, and age-friendly industries to the product currently in production? 
After producing uh, the like a uh, uh, luminal B, call that uh, Kim Sung-kyung patch because so many competitors like uh, LED mask, even though it's from the Chinese company. But for example, why don't care? There is no product like that. Just uh, during the 2000 years, just women use the sanitary waters in order to care the why don't. But our product is, is I can say, is the world's first product, product. So, so many people love that. The first question is, skin elasticity improved in the clinical trial of the wireless LED patch Luminial B. How effective is it? Yeah, for the Luminial B, we have the two kinds of formal medical tests. The first one is, uh, uh, we got the test data from the Seoul Medical University, and the second one, Jeonnam Medical University. Uh, two medical tests says, for the moisture, 19.4% is improvement. For the dermal elastics, almost 38.5% is improved. Okay, so last question for the link optics. What are the characteristics of luminal Y for Y zone care? Yeah, Y zone care, I think so. I love this item because last year uh, we, I participated to kind of uh, 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 international exhibition and most of uh, customers, local or stuff from the overseas market, customers said it's very amazing because it's unique. There is no product like that in the world. So the uh, strong point of the luminal Y, I think the main function is decreasing unpleasant odor from the Y zone. So we can make the all women free from the unpleasant odors. Also the moisture, for example, dry the white condition makes some good place for the bacteria. So it can be very itching and like that disease. So our product make the white zone condition is more moisture. So I think it's very strong point of that. Also, so many people like the, from the 30 years is getting older. They are concerned about the color also some condition of the Y zone. So whitening and elastic is the best uh, way to care of the Y zone. Thank you. Thank you for the answer. So now it is time to hear the last company's presentation. Last but not least, there will be a presentation by DXM. DXM is attracting foreign investments. Please see the recorded video for the presentation. Hi, this is Andrew from DXM. DXM is a manufacturer and a supplier of dental products established in August of 2000. With the endless efforts on providing a better clinical environment and efficiency, DXM is currently exporting multiple product lines and serving as an original equipment manufacturer to more than 40 countries worldwide. We have been successfully pinpointing the frequently changing needs of its global partners and loyal customers. In 2006, DXM established its U.S. branch Dentazone Corporation in California. DXM has also received multiple certifications including ISO, InnoBiz, and UL certification. Recently in 2016 and 2019, Kwangju Branch and Manufacturing Facility Number 1 for DX Mixer Dental Mixing Tips have been established. Currently, there are two overseas businesses in the US and China successfully entering the global market. Our mission is to thrive for innovation and excellence in manufacturing dental equipment and services to provide high quality performance by understanding the evolving trends of the dental industry. With our customer-oriented products and solutions, we value passion, consistency, ethics, and transparency. Basing on our corporate culture on these values, we believe that we are in a unique position to make a difference in our communities across the country and around the globe. With over 18 patents and 10 certifications including ISO, DXM has been stubbornly perfecting the core technologies in serving global dental professionals with innovative dental equipment and related services. All of our products are FDA and CE certified. Our company consists of accounting department, overseas sales department, production department, research and development department, material management department, quality control department, and purchasing department. 
The main product lineup of our company include DX Mixer Dental Mixing Tips, EC VPS Connector, Orthodontic Curing Light, Anodontic Obturation Device, and Anesthetic and Composite Warmer. DX Mixer, a high performance universal dental mixing tip for 50ml and 5ml dual cartridges and is designed to produce a consistent yet successful mixing outcome. EC VPS Connector, a disposable impression transfer connector. It allows to easily transfer leftover impression from one cartridge to another, making it able to consolidate almost empty cartridge and save procedure time by using one full cartridge instead of using two partial cartridges. A dual component cartridges and syringes for dental material manufacturers. We also have orthodontic curing lights including Cybird with 3 modes and 2 second curing of high light output from 2500 to 3000 milliwatt and low heat. Cybird Gold features new dual band LED which is compatible for most resins, improving in convenience of carrying 2 to 3 curing lights for each different types of resins used for dental treatments. Induction charging feature has been added for enhanced durability and improved longevity. Our anodontic obturation device, Endo Apex, is a 2-in-1 obturation system consisted of Frendo, a vertical condensation pen, and Gutta Easy, a backfill obturation gun. Endo Apex is the lightest and highly efficient cordless anodontic obturation system which offers optimum functionality and reliable epical control along with excellent tactile sensing. With their ergonomic and user-friendly operation and design, they reduce hand and wrist fatigue and adds more precision to hard-to-reach canals. Sea Warmer is our anesthetic and composite warmer. Sea Warmer significantly reduces curing time by warming composite materials for dentists as well as improving patient's comfort in delivering restorations and using anesthetics. We also have other products including dental operatory light with camera with no frame delay, LED teeth bleaching system, and intro camera. Dental Product Shopper is one of the biggest and well-known dental magazines in the United States. Evaluation has been performed on three of our products and they received a high score of five selected as the best and recommended products. DX Mixer Mixing Tip, used for dental impression, have received a score of 4.7 out of 5. Sea Warmer, used for heating up anesthetic and composites, have received a score of 4.2 out of 5. Easy VPS Connector, used for transferring leftover impression material, have received a score of 4.9 out of 5. Evaluations are performed by approved dental professionals, and here are some of their feedbacks. Thank you. Thank you. DXM will only answer the questions received beforehand about the pre-IR data. The answer will be provided by the conference interpreter Kim So-young instead. The questions and answers. For the first, the question is, what is the clinical period and the amount of investment in the mixing tip? The answer is, from 2015 to the present, the mixing tip product line has been expanded through continuously research and development. About 2 billion won has been invested. The second question is, what is the global market size of the dental mixing tips? The answer is, the market scale of the home and overseas dental impression material that the mixing tips are as essential was estimated at about 56 billion won in Korea and 400 billion won in the global market in 2012. The average annual growth is about 20%. Third question is, the Swiss company Schulder has a 95% market share. Please explain what's the difference about DXM products. The answer is, Schulder Mixpack occupies the market with its patent 
and trademarks as its strength. The company can provide equal levels of products at low prices through continuous product and process research and development, providing expert substitution and cost reduction effects. The first question is, I know that there were patent lawsuits and injunction lawsuits against sales for advanced companies. And what is the current situation in the regard? The answer is, the company avoided Schuster Mixed Packs patent and trademarks and is applying for patent from the US Patent and Trade Mark office. So its products can be exported to the US and others. The fifth question is for the company, the automatic assembly line for the dental mixing tips was established for the first time in Korea. What is the current production scale? The answer is currently 2.5 million units per month can be produced, and the facility is continuously expanding. The sixth question is, in order to expand the market share, is it necessary to build additional production facilities? To what extent will it be expanded? The answer is, DXM is planning to expand to 10 million units per month by estimating its own factory and expanding facilities. And it plans to build a basic stage for smart factories this year to improve productivity and efficiency. The seventh question is, how many customers of overseas global companies have been secured? The answer is, we have secured three European companies, one US company, and one Japanese company through continuous partnership. The eighth question is, what is the current statue of the overseas expansion, such as overseas branches or sales corporations? The answer is, the US branch Dentajun was established in 2006, and we have agencies in about 40 countries. The question nine is, what is the scale and performance of joint R&D with state agencies in Korea? And the answer is, in 2015, through the development of innovative corporate technology, by the Small and Medium Venture Business Administration. A study was conducted with the Korean Institute of Textile Machinery with a total project cost of 600 million won for two years, and the evaluation result was successful. And here is the last question we got, and the last question is, what is the product line other than the dental mixing tips? The answer is dental curling unit, muscle tube chargers, muscle tube washing machines, oral cameras, surgical light lamp, lidocaine warmers, teeth whitening machines, and others. So this is it for the questions we got. Thank you. Unfortunately, due to the time constraints, it is time to end the seminar. The unanswered questions will be answered by the organizers and the corporate IR managers after the event. If you have any questions after the seminar, please contact Yongjin Kwon in the Investment Promotion Division of Gwangju Metropolitan City. Address your questions in English. Everyone, did you see yourself in the tremendous new opportunities in Gwangju? 
Have you discovered that Gwangju has excellent condition to promote investments? We strongly believe that it has been valuable and precious time for all of the participants. Gwangju is a city with substantial and critical visions related to discovering future values. Please see Gwangju as a prime investment destination with high expectations and reward for the future. It is time to wrap up the seminar. I would like to thank all of our participants for staying with us and make this successful seminar. Thank you.